When it comes to innovations and inventions, why is it that black contributions are always sidelined and thrown in the shadows? Ever heard of the Nikola Tesla theory? Now this is a theory suggesting that people like Nikola Tesla were sent to usher humanity into the next big breakthrough such as technology or civilization. What if the reason why we don't hear of black inventions and contributions is because they fall into this category of the Nikola Tesla theory? Now the reason why I'm saying this is because Nikola Tesla is one of the greatest scientists and inventors in the world that has ever lived but his inventions are often unrecognized. In fact there was a time when they almost erased his name from history but for Nikola Tesla Tesla, this is not a big deal because making a name wasn't his mission. He was just sent here to usher humanity into a breakthrough in technology. Now, my suggestion is, and this is just me suggesting this, what if the majority of black inventions also fall into this category of people that were sent to usher humanity into the next breakthrough, such as civilization or technology? What do you think? Now, this video is not about Nikola Tesla, it's about black inventors and the contributions that they've made that went unrecognized in history. So please pay attention and give me your thoughts in the comment section as we get started. Why don't you build your own country? You didn't build our country. You didn't build shit. Some of you worked here, yeah, but you didn't build. If you if that was the case, then you can build your own in your own country. Look at Africa. How great is that built? Tell me how great that's built over there. Wow. It's a power economic powerhouse over there, isn't it? No wrong. Greatest standard of living on the planet. Yeah, you're not wrong. The, uh, the, they didn't invent the wheel until the 1900s. Well, uh, you look at what a free market does for a country. Uh, the United States is, uh, the founding is nothing short of a miracle. And because of that, the free market, you've been able to have some r innovation that has changed the world. Cool, now let's talk about some of the things black people have done. You're scared to do that, aren't you? I got you, dude. Black people literally built the White House. They built the U.S. Capitol. They also built Independence Hall. The capitals for South Carolina, Louisiana, Virginia, and for Alabama were all built by African Americans as well. But wait, there's more. They didn't do these alone, but they were instrumental in the Civil Rights Act, the Fair Housing Act, the Voting Rights Act, the Affordable Health Care Act, and the Fair Sentencing Act. Is that what you meant? I've got some more stuff. They invented the carbon filament light bulb, CCTVs, dry cleaning, surgical staples, Portable x-rays, your thermostat, every fountain pen you've ever used, every gas burning stove, video game cartridges, the traffic light, peanut butter, gas masks, refrigerated trucks, potato chips, blood banks, voicemail, call waiting, caller ID. I can make another list, it's two-sided if you need. You're obviously not aware of this, but blessed is not a word the global majority thinks of in association with Europeans. Words like plague and colonizer, maybe, but not blessed. And the cell phone in my hand came from China. So I don't know if you're referencing Steve Jobs or Martin Cooper or the Finnish inventor who created the first pocket-sized telecommunication device in 1917, and you probably don't know either because your education system has left you terribly ignorant and without the critical thinking skills necessary to effectively gather information. Because you believe that most great inventions can be attributed to one white person, as opposed to recognizing that the patent system is how white people colonize intellectual property. We would not have cell phones if it wasn't for the creation of the gamma electrical cell by black inventor Henry T. Sampson. And most of our cell phones would not have microphones in them if it wasn't for the particular microphone that was created by black inventor James Edward West. The creation of the first digital network, 1G, was launched in Japan, and then black electrical engineer Jesse Russell pioneered the creation of 2G, which launched in Finland first. 3G launched in Japan, 4G launched in Norway, 5G launched in South Korea, and 30% of the world's cell phones are manufactured in China. Because we, of the global majority, recognize that collective humanity has the ingenuity and creativity of one another to thank. Whereas a lot of European Americans are laboring under the delusion that the rest of us have white people to thank. And it's this narcissist appearance that causes people like you to do embarrassing things, like leaving comments about Europeans and cell phones on a video about systemic anti-black race in the United States. And while that could be written off as a comedic and senile non sequitur, we recognize it as a desperate attempt to center yourself in a conversation that has nothing to do with you. The irony being that white people like to say not all white people and that you shouldn't be held accountable for the misdeeds of their ancestors, yet they want to be associated with the greatness of the things that they think they invented. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. 
in case that this isn't about the video this is about the comment that was made go pause to read it i hate when racists get proven wrong and then they become fucking barney and friends at first it's black people haven't contributed anything to america black people didn't create anything and then it becomes everyone should equally get credit for building america no one race should be singled out for having built america be right the first time why be proven wrong when you could just read a book search for an academic article hell read the comment section where there are people giving you facts a lot of y'all would rather be wrong and get humbled than to just be right in the first place there was another incident where i was talking about how black culture is amazing and somebody commented and said black culture there's no such thing i explained to them clearly and succinctly why black culture is a thing and then they said well i think all culture should be appreciated equally again just be right the first time you speak stop commenting on people's posts before you've done any amount of research you shouldn't have to keep revising your statement if you have a question about something and even if you don't even if you don't have a question but you just want to make sure that what you're saying is accurate look it up because changing the goalpost to make yourself seem less wrong is pathetic. And the GPS, technically navigation, ambulances, Wi-Fi. And that's why we're old reparations. And that's why we're old reparations. Because that board, is, it don't even have half of the black inventions. Not even half. More than half of the things in your home, black people have invented that you use. I don't want to hear that a black man did not create the light bulb. But yes, he did. I, yes, he did. And don't ask a black woman why she always wearing weave and why she don't want, want to wear her hair. A black woman invented it. Hello. Shout out to her. Every single thing on them shelves in, the, in them stores. Copyright. 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 Where is our money? We should be rich. On my life, on my grave, we are going to get them refer reparations. I'm stuttering. We're going to get our reparations, bitch. And if and if we go down, you're going to go down with us. And that's and that's one thing that y'all don't care about. Y'all don't care about going down. Y'all don't care about it clearly. You get your own. But we are owe reparations and we going to get it. Oh, our people is going to... Our people going to... So I was watching this video from Drinkable Brian and the comment that's up at the top of the video was pretty much saying like, everybody helped build America. So he decided to go through a list of black inventions. And it actually made me angry. Not because of his video. His video is absolutely imperative for people to really understand how it is that black folks have built and legitimized what is known as the US. And that literally everything that you damn near use was built by black folks. What made me angry is that literally everything that we damn near use was built by black folks. And the lack of respect that we get globally. I just want us to stop. Stop inventing. Stop being amazing. Stop being excellent. Stop overachieving. Just stop. I want us to be completely mediocre. Unexcellent. Just fading into the abyss of nothingness. Because if you can identify that pretty much everything that you find useful in society from a cell phone to a blood transfusion to Wi-Fi or a maxi pad. We did that. And we still get treated the way we do. I just want us to stop. For real. Get somebody else to do it. Remember I started this video with the Nikola Tesla theory. Now, I don't really know how true that theory is, but that's how the theory goes. The fact that there are people that were sent to usher humanity into the next big breakthrough, but they can do this without making a name for themselves. The mission was just to usher humanity and leave technology for humanity so that humanity can advance into the next big thing. Like I said, I don't know how true this theory is, but the fact also stems from the reasons as to why Nikola Tesla is always citing God and praising God in his his inventions sometimes he would sit and meditate and pray or whatever he did and he would enter into the cosmos into this realm where he saw inventions that were to be invented and nikola tesla is one of those inventors that said these inventions were not his he was just simply copying from what he saw in the cosmos or in this realm and that's the reason why many folks were saying that nikola tesla just came to usher humanity into the next big thing and when his name almost got erased from the internet and from history elon musk came and named this company after his name and 
that's the reason why you have tesla in commemoration of nikola tesla because some people were conspiring to erase his name from the history books because of the great inventions that he did now let's talk about the champions of this video the great black inventors themselves let's talk about garrett morgan an african-american inventor and entrepreneur who made a significant contribution to road safety with his invention of the three position traffic signal in 1923 born in 1877 in paris kentucky morgan was the son of former slaves despite facing racial discrimination and limited opportunities morgan demonstrated resilience and ingenuity throughout his life the story of morgan's invention of the traffic signal is both remarkable and inspiring it is said that the idea for the traffic signal came to morgan as he witnessed a serious accident at a busy intersection in cleveland ohio at the time traffic signals were rudimentary often consisting of just a stop sign or a basic signal indicating go or stop morgan who owned a successful sewing machine and repair business recognized the need for a more efficient and safer way to manage traffic flow so he created a three position traffic signal that not only included uh, the go and stop sign but also included an intermediate sign called the off stop sign this uh, breakthrough was very very convenient because it contributed to safety concerns that people were grappling with during those times uh, with all the racial oppositions that he was facing just imagine the perseverance that he needed to have and the ingenuity that that he brought even though in those times resources were very scarce now the impact that this invention had on road safety cannot be overstated the three position traffic signal provided a standardized and effective method for controlling traffic flow at intersections significantly reducing the number of accidents and saving countless lives it laid the foundation for modern traffic management systems and set the precedent for future innovations in transportation technology but beyond his invention of the traffic signal garrett morgan's legacy extends to other noble contributions he is also credited with inventing the safety hood a precursor to the modern gas mask which he famously used to rescue miners trapped in a tunnel beneath lake erie in 1916 henry t Sampson, an african-american inventor made groundbreaking contribution to the development of modern cell phone technology but his core invention of the gamma electric cell born in 1934 in jackson mississippi Sampson overcame racial barriers to become a trailblazing engineer and inventor the story of Sampson's involvement in the creation of the gamma electric cell is both fascinating and pivotal in the history of telecommunications in the late 1960s Sampson, along with his colleague dr george h miley conducted research at the u.s atomic energy commission's sandia national laboratories the work focused on the development of new methods for generating and storing electric energy i think this is one of the most sidelined inventions ever like who knew that a black person contributed majorly to the telecommunications industry like why are we not taught of this history by using radiation from radioactive materials samson and dr miley were able to create a gamma electric cell and it is the same gamma electric cell that laid the foundation for modern day battery for our cell phones today which rely on similar principles of energy conversion and storage samson's contribution to cell phone technology is particularly noteworthy given the context of the time in the 1960s cell phone technology was still in its infancy now the idea of having a portable phone or something that you can carry and make phone calls from wherever you go was something uh, straight out of a sci-fi movie simply put it was science fiction in those days now let's talk about alexander mouse an african-american inventor who made a significant contribution to elevator safety and efficiency with his invention of automatic elevator doors so he was born in 1838 in Duluth Minnesota Mao's inventive spirit and ingenuity would lead to the groundbreaking innovation that revolutionized the elevator industry the story of Mao's invention of the automatic elevator doors is both remarkable and emblematic of his commitment to improving safety and convenience in urban transportation there was a growing concern in those days concerning elevator doors because they had none during those days so imagine when you get on an elevator the door was simply not there and uh, there were growing concerns of people maybe falling off when they're in an elevator so alexander contributed majorly by crafting these doors that people didn't have in those days hence we have these modern elevator doors it is thanks to alexander mouse a black inventor recognizing the need for a safer and more efficient elevator design 
Mao set out to develop a solution. In 1887, he patented an automatic mechanism that would open and close elevator doors automatically, eliminating the need for manual operation and reducing the risk of accidents and injuries. Mao's invention represented a significant advancement in elevator technology. Automatic elevator doors not only improved safety by preventing passengers from accidentally falling into open elevator shafts, but also increased efficiency by streamlining the boarding and disembarking process. George Crum, an African-American chef who is credited with the invention of potato chips in 1853, a culinary innovation that has since become a beloved snack enjoyed worldwide, born George Speck in 1824 in Saratoga County, New York. Crum's ingenuity in the kitchen would lead to the creation of one of America's most iconic snacks. The story of how potato chips came to be is as fascinating as it is delightful. Legend has it that one day while working as a chef at the Moon Lake Lodge in Saratoga Springs, New York, Crum received a complaint from a customer about the thickness of his fried potatoes. The customer reportedly a notoriously picky dinner sent back multiple orders of thick cut out potatoes, expressing dissatisfaction with their texture and consistency. Now, in response to the customer's complaint, Crum decided to play a prank on the dinner. He sliced the potatoes pepper thin, fried them to a crisp, and seasoned them generously with salt. To Crum's surprise, the customer not only enjoyed the thinly sliced potatoes, but also praised them as a delicious and innovative snack. And that's how word of his crispy potato chips spread like wildfire and now we have the potato chips that we know. But because of racial injustice and segregation, he couldn't earn the name that he deserved at the time. But George Crumb is the inventor of potato chips. And last but not least on our list today is Frederick McKinley Jones, an African-American inventor and entrepreneur who made a groundbreaking contribution to the transportation industry with his invention of the refrigeration system for trucks. Born in 1893 in Cincinnati, Ohio, Jones overcame significant challenges and barriers to become one of the most influential inventors of the 20th century. The story of Jones' invention of the refrigerated truck system is a testament to his ingenuity and perseverance. In the early 1930s, John observed the need for a reliable method of transporting perishable goods over long distances at the time. The transportation of perishable items such as food and medicine was limited by the lack of effective refrigeration technology. Drawing on his background in mechanical engineering and refrigeration, Jones set out to develop a solution in 1938. He patented his refrigeration innovation system for trucks which utilized the compressor, condenser and evaporator to maintain a consistent temperature inside the truck's cargo area. And because of his contribution, this has allowed uh, perishable goods to be able to be transported in hot climates. Now, just imagine how some places are deserty and how people are able to transport uh, food in trucks, perishable items, and any kind of item that needs refrigeration, such as medication. It was all thanks to this black inventor. Now, those were some of the inventions and the inventors attributed to those contributions. Now, these are just some of the things that have been attributed to black inventors. Now, the mundane thing about the modern age is that people don't want to recognize the original inventors of things that we use on a daily basis. I think you can all agree with me on the fact that even if you helped usher humanity into the next phase of existence, you need some sort of recognition for that, you know, or reparations for the contributions that you made to history. Anyways, tell me what you think in the comment section and if there are any other contributions that you feel were missed or left out in today's video, please leave your thoughts in the comment section and we'll be sure to cover it in the next video that we're gonna do concerning this topic. Enjoy your day, signing off, see you in the next conversation.